There's a box on the table, so you can probably take a wild fucking guess that I'm gonna do some kind of unboxing video. Uh, what this is, is this is a Zobie Fright Box. This is the June one. Um, before I get into that, I do also just wanna kinda just do a bitching really quick. Um, I've been really getting on this whole unboxing kick. Uh, normally I go with like Fright Crates and recently Zobie. I did sign up for Bam Box and Loot Fright. Uh, I have now been charged for two boxes, and I have not gotten shit yet. Um, so that's... Oh, I didn't even really introduce you. It's a little rude. <laughs> um, this, is, this is Justin. I'm using his house uh, because it's very nice. And uh, generally when I do these videos, it's in my shitty uh, bachelor pad, lazy, messy apartment. So um, I just want to... It's pretty cool though. Well, well, it is, but, but yours is nice, and it just, sometimes it's good to have a different look, otherwise all my videos look the same, so clearly you can see it's different looking. But anyway, uh, back to those. Um, with Bambox, I haven't even done a Bambox yet. I saw them and thought, okay, they look okay, I'll try it out, but it's like I got charged for two, and I haven't even been sent a fucking box yet. Uh, usually with like Zobi, I buy the box. And then I know it's going to ship around this time. Same with Fright Crate. Uh, they put the box up for pre-order, you buy it, and then, you know, it goes through the whole pre-order thing, blah, 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 and they send one to you. Um, so I'm just really irritated for the fact that I've now paid for two fucking boxes and I don't have shit. So I'm not too happy about that one. So we'll see if they come and I'm probably going to be disappointed. I have a really good feeling that I'm probably going to be disappointed by the Loot Fright box because generally uh, anything I've seen from them looks like dog poop. Um, so yeah, that's uh, my little bitching rant thing there. Without further ado, I'm going to crack this open. Um, I believe the themes for this month were... Uh, it probably helps if I have a paper that shows this, but whatever, I'm just going to kind of wing it. Uh, basket Case, uh, Tales from the Crypts, Halloween, Curse of Michael Myers, Annabelle, and Dr. Sleep. Uh, those are the five themes in the box. Um, so we're gonna crack it open and uh, see what's in it. It's like a, it's like a Christmas thing for horror, which that's why I like these unboxing things, because they're kind of fun. Also, I have a nicer knife this time around to cut. <laughs> uh, And then sometimes with these videos, I'll, I'll look at other people's videos and kind of just see what's in there. But this time, I, I just wanted the element of surprise this time around. Um, so really, I have no idea what's going to be in this. So, so looks like we have a shirt. That's oh, the first item. Oh, shit. Yep. Oh, shit indeed. <laughs> well, that's pretty fucking cool. This uh, is the basket case uh, one right there. Um, you got my uh, little Belial guy, I think. The, have you seen Basket Case, right? I have. Good. Great, great cinematic masterpiece. Yep. Nothing like taking a man to him out of your yeah. body and that's fucking doing cool. That. Yeah. Uh, maybe that'll show. But that's the shirt right there. I do like the uh, red font. It's on uh, Gildan, which is kind of like it's good for beefy guys, and I'm a beefy guy. So number one. Stoked on it. Uh, looks like item number two is going to be a pin of some sort. And that would be a Dr. Sleep pin, it looks like. I'm gonna, let's see, the element of surprise, I'm gonna just kinda pop it up maybe. Oh, look at that, for once in my fucking life, it actually pops up without me having to fucking shove it in the camera a million times to get a clear view. That's awesome. <laughs> I see that shit. Is that, what is this? What the uh, fuck is this? Dr. Sleep. Did you see Dr. Sleep? I've never even heard of it. It's like the sequel to The Shining Takes Place Alone. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I never saw it. Well, yeah, it's okay. And then um, I heard it was forgettable. Anyways, <laughs> it's a sleeper that's not a hit. Uh, the comic is something called The Forgotten Isle. I'm gonna forget about that because I don't give a shit. <laughs> <laughs> the Forgotten Isle. And looks like um, now we're gonna get to our uh, signed pieces here. Uh, 
personally, actually, no, wait, I think this is an art print. Yeah, there we go. That's pretty fucking cool. Yeah, that actually, and that's, um... Go show, go show that. Well, I'm gonna go the, show the, the camera. The internet, yeah, the, the internet at the moment. Um, this is number 613 out of 650 prints, so that's pretty nice, but, uh, this is the Annabelle print I just got in, in look at that, you can see that. Uh, 613 out of 650. That's it right there. It's a decent print. And now we get to the, uh, the main meat of the box. These are the autographs that you get. Um, I'm gonna guess that it's probably a Tales from the Crypt autograph of some sort and a Halloween autograph of some sort. <laughs> oh, the hair just feels so terrible on these things. It's like touching a, a yeah, an animal made out of pubic hair. It's, it's terrible. It's pretty fucking gross. Yeah. All right, this is the eight by ten. Oh shit! You gotta love Paul Rudd. Well, it's definitely not Paul Rudd's that signature. Is... No, it's not. Unless he changed his name to Marianne. Oh no, I was just talking about the photo. Yeah, but no, that is definitely a good photo right there. Uh, this is the uh, autograph we got right here. So that is from uh, Halloween S Curse of Michael Myers right there. And that is uh, Marianne Hagen, Hogan, Hagen. Halloween six. Six. The weird movie with Paul Rudd in it. That's what it was. Now, this is probably going to be the Tales from the Crypt portion of it, I'm assuming. So. I mean, like, I'll find out if you. Fuck no, this is my. I'm, I'm so that. This is definitely. Kind of went down on my fucking This wall. is definitely the worthy here. I, I, obviously, this has to be John Casir's signature. Because um, there's only one Crypt Keeper, but this is it right here. Give it to me. No, fuck no. <laughs> and this is a. Uh, <clears throat> I personally, I, I like the 8x10s better just because they're easier to frame. The 11x14s are just a little bit bigger than a, I would like. And uh, there's that, and... Ooh, what's that? <clears throat> what is that? I don't know. Oh, that's just from the... So uh, the owner of... Um, well, it's it's the owner of uh, Zobi. So the owner of Zobi usually kind of just shoves these nice little uh, cards in there, thanking you for the purchase. So that's... Uh, oh, you were working so well for me earlier. There we go. Now it's crisp and clear. Uh, that's it right there, but just kind of a little nice little uh, thing to thank you for buying the uh, awesome little box there. And then lastly, basically this is the sheet that just kind of shows you all the fun things. Unfortunately, I did not get the uh, Easter egg bonus uh, because I am not a lucky person, so I usually never get any cool <clears throat> uh, Easter eggs. Um, Do you know what that would have been? Oh, it would have been the... Uh, Fan art. It's like a weird little oh, that's pretty collector's cool. card. Show, show, yeah. show. So what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna, I'm gonna show go over Insta, to the camera. Instagram net. Well, it's YouTube and Instagram. Or oh, whatever. Yeah. So that's the little sheet right there. Uh, I really appreciate these nice little sheets in there. Sometimes people put in the uh, just a kind of a poopy ass typed up little garbage doo doo sheet. Um, but for Zobi, they actually put out these really nice quality just sheets that just show you all the different cool things that you do get. Uh, in your mystery box. Um, so this is my second Zobi mystery box and overall I'm pretty fucking pleased with it. Um, if you haven't done a Zobi box before, definitely hit it up. This was for June, so I'm assuming there should be a new one in August. If I did have to make one complaint about Zobi, um, I did try to hit up their uh, Zobi XL horror box. Uh, that thing fucking sold out in five minutes. I couldn't even get my hands on it. Um, so that was, that's my only gripe. Other than that, the company is really good. Which box is it? It was like a, it's, it's an expensive box. It was good though. It's like, it's like a mystery box, but it's, it's like more expensive than this thing. That's cool. it. But anyway, uh, that's it for this episode of me sticking my hands in a brown box and pulling out a bunch of horror stuff. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. Um, as usual, uh, I don't know, subscribe to my channel thing and hit the bell the notification bell yeah the, the notification bell this is why it's helpful to have a partner because sometimes 
I don't know all these things and I sit there in my brain and I'm trying to tick, 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 the, remember what I'm trying to say. So it's good to have that little, that little helpful prompt there. Um, yeah, that's it. And uh, tune in until next time and that's it. <laughs>